All right, YouTube, let's see how this works out for us. I set up my new scope. Well, it's not new, it's, I've had it for quite a while. It's just, the thing's massive and I haven't had anywhere to put it. So I got some pennies to go through. I mean, not, not a ton and I'm not gonna go through a ton of them anyway, because I do have a uh, whatnot show to get to in uh, about 50 minutes, but it takes a while to get everything uploaded and stuff. But I wanna show you something real quick here. With the scope so this scope is really really good all right this penny got damaged during shipping um one of the flips that was next to it the staple wasn't pushed down all the way and it cut through and damaged this penny which really sucks because this was a beautiful 58 um not quite uh, uncirculated, but definitely about un. But when I talk about, I wanted to show you just because since we can just use this as a demonstration penny now. So some of the things that we look for when we're looking at pennies is we look for when we're looking at wheat pennies. Let's say, for instance. And I know it's gonna not gonna look, look great, but like right here, we look for individual um, lines here, nice sharp ones on both sides. And you gotta realize I'm going from a camera to a camera. Uh, it's not gonna show up great, but we also look for uh, we'll look for definition within the ear, which I can show you some pennies that'll have that. We look for definition here we want the jawbone and the cheekbone to be separate if there's any beard that we can see that's something we look for we'll always look at like the date to see if we have like a double date uh, this does not it, it looks like it does like right here on the nine and there is some doubling but I'm gonna say that's probably machine doubling not double date doubling same with over here on Liberty. We look at the hair. Uh, let's see if I can find another one that's a little better. Let's see here. Here's a 53 San Francisco. Okay, now look at the difference here. We have we can see more of the hair. Alright. Everything just looks a little cleaner. Real crisper. I do need to put down a. Uh, I think I'm gonna just put one of my stickers or something down on this base because it's a metal base and I don't like it. It's another reason I don't really use it. But it works really good on here now. So, those are kind of some of the things we look for. Here's another 58. All right, so here, now, well, maybe not. I was starting to think maybe these were cleaning scratches, but I don't think they are. I think these actually right here are die marks, like this one right here. And the neck, you can see, is a die mark, along with this one here which is kind of neat. Little, little cracks and fissures that happen within the die when it's being struck or after striking so many coins. I like that we have the new scope here, but like I say, I'm going to have to put down something there. Anyway, like I said, it's going to be a short one. We're not going to go through all that stuff because I got to get set up for my, my show. Uh, which means that I got to actually clean up a little bit around me. But I wanted to just show you a few of those things. Just so that you had an idea. Like, here's a 55 San Francisco. Let's see if we can zoom in just a tad bit or get it cleaned up a little. There we go. Look at that. We, can, we definitely have hair definition, beard definition. This is nice. 
And this one I wrote down that it's a blazer, which it is. It's blazing good. If all these scratches on the back that you're seeing were all parallel, going the same way, I would say cleaned. Whoops. But since they're all kind of, I mean, they're most of them are parallel, but they're, they are going at different angles and everything. So I'd say that's just wear. This new scope is, or this other scope here is really nice. Uh, if you want to get yourself one, <clears throat> let me just show you here. I know some people ask about what kind of products I use. So this is the brand here that of this one. It's a Link Micro. It's, um, it comes with, so like I have different, uh, uh, lenses and stuff and it it's got all sorts of stuff back there it's it's huge uh, it's actually used for micro soldering work that's why it's got these nice big lights but I have found that it works very very well for coin roll hunting so let's see here I'm just gonna move it out of the way all right, so when we do decide to do, or when I do get some more rolls in that we are going to hunt and stuff, if we need to see closer up on them to see if maybe they're uh, uh, double date, a double die, or uh, RPM, or whatever going on with them, we will have that scope in. And I'm actually going to be, we're not going to be looking through that little uh, screen there. Uh, I'm going to put it up on another screen. I did decide, since this is kind of a short video, I got this little baggie. <clears throat> came today in the mail it's full of foreign coins i hope they're all foreign i went through them and just separated out foreign from american so i thought well what the heck let's let's uh just go through them real quick huh you know me i don't know a ton about foreign stuff that penny's in nice shape though 65 great britain i think yeah great britain penny it's a nice shape, a little dirty, but really nice shape. I have a couple of these, and they're really nice. I like them, personally. They don't seem to sell very well, but I do like them. And we got here, Canada, maybe? Yeah. 68 Canadian Penny. What's this thing? Um, I don't know. Greece, maybe? I don't know. Kind of looks like something like that. 1982, 20-something. Cool. I'm sure my, my peeps will all know what the heck all this stuff is. Ooh, Argentina. And Union... Uh, Libertard, anyway. Libertard. 50 centavos. 1992. I like centavos. Oh, here we go. This I know what this is. 1944, United States of America. One centavo, Filipinas. Yes. So this is from World War II, when we were when we were in the Philippines, and printing money for there. I know exactly what this is, and I know they sell very well, actually. What's this? Shilling? One shilling. 1970. Österreich. Österreich. Republic of Oyster. Yep. <laughs> I speak English, not any other. So, excuse me. Mexico. 41. Guessing one centavo? Hmm. These are some old coins. Some of these are really old. I mean, not all of them, but some of them are. 1969 Australia. Cool. I'm not going to find any silver in here, I'm sure. New pence. Two new pence. From 71. One new pence from 76. One cent. Mm. 
1928 Netherlands. Okay, now that's cool. I mean, obviously it's not silver or anything, but it's pretty cool. And I do have some people that come to my streams that collect foreign coins, even if they're not silver. 1905. Whatever that is. It's got a hole in it. Whee! Hmm. That's cool. Jamaica, 1938. One penny. Okay, so that's really cool. George the Sixth. Here we got Mexican money again. 2005, 50 cent. 50, pay, 50 cent peso, whatever you want to call it. Mexico City. I know that. <laughs> oh, A lot of times I'll throw a lot of these things into a lot too and just sell them as a big old lot. 1920? 1920, yeah. From where? Um, I'm not sure. Canadian, probably? Yep. Centennial coin. 1950. Georgie. 63, 64, I know there's one of these that's like a strapless or something it's called, I don't know, that's worth more money, there's a 43 George, there's one new pence again, 73, Eighteen ninety nine to something. Again, I have I have people for this that know this stuff. Okay, that coin's in rough shape. Something ninety two. It's been um demolished pretty much. And it feels like aluminum. Aluminum, 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 aluminum. So, that'll just go somewhere. Be lost to time and space. 75. Canadian. I've had these before. 1950. Deutschland. 10 Finnig. I don't think I had a 10 before. I think I had, what, 5 or 1 or something. I don't know. Denmark. Or. 1957. That's cool. So anyway, that's uh, the the uh, foreign current or foreign coinage that I got. Uh, a lot of times, like I say, I'll sell it off as like a group or a few coins together. I mean, unless they're silver, silver ones I'll sell individually. But if they're not silver, then I sell them pretty much as a group because they're tough to move. Unless I like it, just for aesthetic aesthetic purposes, and then I'll keep it for myself. Alright, so I do have a little bit of time still. I thought I was running out. Well, I'm getting down there, but I got a little time left. So let's go through some more co coinage here, since we're here. I said we'd try. We'll try. Come on, get out of the bag. So we got some just common nickels. I mean, 89 nickel right there. I mean... Some of these common ones, this was like a, just a big grab bag thing that I bought. So some of these common ones will just go into my pocket and be, or, you know, just sent off to the bank as regular coins. I got a, there's a bunch of these uh, dateless buffaloes in here. And people that know me, I have Nicodate. And so I enjoy using it. 
and figuring out what all I got. And there's a 76 Denver. Nothing special about it. 79 Denver. That might have a double die on it. It kind of looked like it did. Or not a double die, but a uh, um, RPM. There's a 68 San Francisco. Pretty rough shape, though. I have a lot nicer ones. There's a 60 Denver. Uh, talking about 60 Denver, though. Let's see. Uh, I have this here, which is 60 Denver BU. And I went through maybe a third of these and found tons of errors. So... I just put it all back in the in the little tube, and I will sell it as an error roll as is. Uh, probably wanting like 30-ish for it, 35 maybe. I know it seems steep for a roll of pennies, but there's a lot of errors in the 60s, so. And then I'm also looking for 65. That 65 is actually not in bad shape. I do have a newer book, so maybe I'll keep that one for that book. I don't know. We'll see. There's another 69S. We're always looking for the no FG and the floating roof. One of these days, maybe I'll go through all that with you guys. Sixty-seven, seventy-three, Denver. I mean, these aren't in horrible shape. Some of these. This is a sixty-eight S. Got some color to it. Hmm. But yeah, there's just. A bunch of here. Here's a 70. Look at the dings in the rim. Ugh. Horrible. I got a comment on one of my videos the other day that just said, first of all, you're using your bare hands. <laughs> I about died laughing. I know people that grade coins. And this is how they do it, too. They don't. They just don't touch the the faces they just touch the rims i can't wear the gloves um so that's just what it is sure i may be on some of these i mean at this point who cares it's only if it's like an uncirculated one that you really need to worry about there's a 37 denver that's not a bad one that'll get flipped up today and probably sold today there's a 51 hmm Fifty-three. Come on. Focus. Focus. There we go. Forty-four. San Francisco. Hmm. Then we get flipped. It's not in the greatest shape, but if somebody's looking for one. Needs a plug. And it'll work. Same with that one. Kind of going through and just finding Wheaties at this point. Hmm. Here's a 69 Denver. So yeah, there's some memorials in here with the wheat pennies. Oof. There's a 38. I do have a bunch of pennies coming, though. I mean, a bunch. I got a hold of the seller today because I was like, where the heck is my pennies? I ordered them over. There's a 30 Denver. Over a week ago. They should have been here already. 
and he said he would check with the postal service and see what's going on so Oof, that one's in rough shape yeah that one is um completely gone no idea what it was i mean i know what it was it was a wheat penny so stuff like that is just gonna get i got a bucket of scrap ones and uh it just gets scrapped as you know whatever just it's just copper scrap basically at that point and the 46 s i think i know somebody looking for one of those It's a 65 Memorial. Thirty-six. It's pretty rough shape. Oh, come on. 49 San Fran. It's actually in pretty good shape. And a 56 Denver. Not bad. I don't think there's any more. The rest are all... Oh, there's one. Just a 40. I got lots of those. I think the rest. Hmm. One more. Well, oh, 53 Denver. The rest are all memorial pennies. I'm not gonna go through all those. So anyway, I'm probably gonna flip up a few of these here and and uh, get ready for my show. I got a mess that I gotta clean up still, but I'll get this video uploaded as I'm doing my show. Uh, show starts in a half an hour. So today is the uh, 13th of. September 2023 my show starts at 6 p.m. central on whatnot if you want to check it out check down below there's the link to my whatnot account you can come see it you can come purchase stuff you can just come hang out and say hi doesn't matter I can tell you right now though if you do come out or come into the stream and you start talking crap I will have one of my mods ban you and you won't be logged back in. It's happened before. Somebody came over from YouTube and started talking. So, just just know, I'm not afraid to ban somebody. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, give that thumbs up, subscribe, share the video. We're almost at, what are we almost at? We're almost at 400 subscribers, I think. So we've grown pretty quick, but, you know, we're really working hard to try to get to that thousand. That's why I'm doing, like, trying to do more videos. I'm trying to put up more uh, content, everything. In fact, when I'm done here, I'm going to do a quick short, and then off we go. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.